This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Starbound modding tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a throwable projectile that mines for you. And I have named them Morbs. Mining Orbs, Morbs. So anyway, you throw it, it bounces around. Well, if it doesn't hit people, it, uh, it will mine for you and it keeps hitting people. Here we go, here we go. This one's totally not gonna hit people. You can see that it destroys pretty much anything it touches. You can throw multiple of them, they do stack and uh, they will mine for you and they will mine for quite some time. 10 seconds to be exact, and they will just keep falling downwards. I've changed the uh, speed a little bit so that they do bounce around a little bit more. So you can throw a bunch of them and just destroy a rather large area. It does get a tad bit laggy. You can actually change that so it doesn't destroy as many blocks, and I will show you how to do all that right now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to your Starbound folder, and then there is a folder in there called Mods, and you're gonna wanna create a new folder and name it whatever you want. I have named mine Morb, and I already have the mod in here right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these files, and we will recreate it from scratch. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete those. So now we have a completely empty folder here inside of our mods folder. Okay, then once you have done that, we're gonna need to go to our assets folder wherever you have unpacked that. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, please check out my previous modding tutorial where I teach you how to unpack the assets folder and what it's all about. So we're gonna go to that folder and we're gonna scroll down till we see projectiles right here it is so we're gonna go inside this folder and then we're going to go to throwables and what we're looking for is this beach ball but before we can copy it we need to go back and create that hierarchy that we just went through in our mod folder so let's go back to our mod folder real quick so we're back here inside of our mod folder we're going to create a new folder and we're going to name it projectiles and then we're gonna go inside of that folder and we're gonna create another new folder and we're gonna call that throwable. Okay, then we're gonna go inside of our throwable folder and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy the beach ball folder in, into our throwable mod folder. So you're just gonna go back to your unpacked assets window and copy and paste the beach ball folder, the whole thing into your new mod folder. Okay, we're gonna name this folder. We're gonna rename it to Morb Ball. Well, I cannot type today. There we go, Morb Ball. And then we're gonna go inside of that and you'll have three files in here. You're gonna have your frames file, your PNG file, and your projectile file. We're gonna name each of these Morb. So just the front part, we're gonna name this MRB. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna highlight this and copy it with Control C or Command C. And then we're gonna paste it with Control V or Command V, depending on if you're Windows or Mac. Okay, now that we have done that, we've renamed each of these to Morb, we are going to open up the .projectile file in your editor of choice. I like to use Notepad++, so that's what I'm gonna open it in. Okay, now that we are inside Notepad++ and we have our beach ball file, which is now our Morb file open, we're gonna rename it to Morb and then we're going to leave the physics the same, leave the physics be beach ball, unless you wanna play around with the physics. If you wanna see different types of physics, you can just look at other projectiles, just go back to your unpacked assets folder and just start you know, meandering through it, looking at the different projectiles that are in there and opening up the dot projectile files and seeing what they list as physics. I think there's like grenade, bullet, stuff like that. We're gonna leave it beach ball for this one because I know it works and it works for what we're creating today but by all means play around with it now we're going to rename the dot png because we did rename our dot png so we're going to rename that to morb and then down here it says action on reap and it says action item name beach ball now we don't have the item yet but we're going to make it and we're going to call it morb item so what you're gonna to wanna to do is just come over here to where it says name, beach ball, select it all, and then type in morb item. Okay, so that's just like a preemptive thing that we know we have to do because if we would have left that beach ball, once the time runs out, which right here, your time to live, 
That's how long this is going to stay a projectile. So once that 30 seconds runs out, you would have gotten a beach ball back and not your morb. So we need to change that to the actual item that we're going to create. The other thing I wanna change in here is the time to live. 30 seconds is a really long time for these to live. It's kind of a crazy long time for these to live. And the longer they live, the more they burrow. So if you want to make a hole all the way down to the core of the planet, put that bad boy at 60 seconds. It's going to take you straight to lava. But we don't want that. We want it to be somewhat manageable. So I'm going to change that to 10 seconds. And then everything else in here, you want to pretty much just leave alone. There isn't, you don't really need to mess with uh, the rest of it. The rest of it's pretty much what you want it to be. So we're just going to hit Control S to save that, or you can go up to File and Save, or you can hit Command S if you're on a Mac. Once you're done that, you're going to exit out of that. We're going to go back to this Unpacked Assets folder, and we should still be in our throwables. We're going to go out of that, and we're going to go back to the main folder. Now we need items, so we're going to go into the items and then we need throwables. And what we're looking for right here is this beach ball. So we need to go recreate this hierarchy back in our mods folder. So let's go back to our mods folder real quick. So we're back here at our mods folder. We need to go back to the main folder right here. It should say projectiles and this should be your main folder. So we're gonna need to create a new folder and you're gonna name it items. Then you're gonna go into it and you're gonna create another new folder and you're gonna name it throwables. Okay, and then we're going to go inside of that folder. Now we're going to go back to our unpacked assets folder. So you can see here we need the beach ball and the beach ball thrown item. So you're just going to select both of those. You can hold down uh, control and click both of them like that. Or you can click beach ball and hold down shift and click, click the beach ball thrown item. We're going to copy and paste those. So we're just going to hit control C or command C. We're going to go back to our mods folder where we still have our throwables folder open. And we're going to paste those in there. So now we have those two files. We need to rename these to morb item. So we have our morb item PNG. And then we need to rename this to Morb Item as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that and copy it so that we have the Morb Item name. Just makes it easier. If you want to type it out, you know, type it out. I like to copy and paste a lot. So now we're just going to open that file in our editor of choice. Once again, I'm going to open it in Notepad++. So now that we're inside the Morb item, thrown item file, we are going to change the item name to Morb item. You can leave, change this stuff here or leave it the same, the rarity, the price, or the category you wanna leave the same, but you can change the price and the rarity if you want. You need to change the inventory icon to the uh, morb.png and you want to change the image to morb item. Then you can change the description to whatever you want. So I'm just going to change it to morb and then I'm just going to change the description to mines. Okay, good enough. Now, there's some stuff that we're going to have to type out and or copy and paste. I will put the info that you need to copy and paste in the description below. Okay, so the projectile type, right now if we threw this, it would be a beach ball. We don't want it to be a beach ball, we want it to be the morb, so we're gonna change that to our projectile type because that's the projectile that we just created. This is going to, th what we're creating now is the item that you hold. So essentially what we're creating now is the gun and beforehand we created the bullet. Okay, so once you've changed that to Morb, if you come down here to where it says the projectile config, this is where you can change how your projectile behaves once you've thrown it or shot it if you were making a gun. So what I want you to do is if you're using Notepad++ and you click right before the bracket here, you can see down here that it makes this bracket red as well. Same thing, if we click this bracket here, you can see that it makes this bracket red. That shows you the open and close of the brackets. This has the periodic actions. This says that this item is going to do this thing 
every so often. So what it's going to do now is every zero seconds, it's going to play the sound file. We don't want it to do that. We want it to mine for us. So what you're going to want to do is select all of this here between these, starting with your periodic actions and then clear up until this end bracket. And then you're going to either type out what I just pasted or you can paste it yourself. Copy and paste it from the description. And if you look, we still have our beginning and end brackets. And if we click this, you can see that it's all inside of these brackets here. Okay, so this changes the periodic action to every 0.2 seconds when it's set to repeat. So it's going to keep doing it to create an explosion, which is going to affect the foreground blocks with a radius of four. Its explosive damage amount is 100 and its harvest level is 10. So you can change this around to more explosion level or higher harvest level or lower if you want. And you can also change the radius in which it harvests and you can also have it harvest the background. I'm warning you now, if you have it harvest the background and you throw one of these, it's going to get a little laggy because the thing gets crazy. Also, if you want, you can change the speed of the projectile. This is going to be how fast it initially leaves your hands. So I'm going to crank that up to 50 so we get a nice, good, hard throw. Uh, you can change the cooldown. This is going to be how often you can do the thing. So this would be how often you can throw it. But uh, I, think, I think all of that is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that and finalize it and then we're gonna exit out. So last but not least, we have the PNG file. Now this is currently the default beach ball is what it's gonna look like when we throw it. You can open this inside of whatever editor you choose, Photoshop, GIMP, whatever your editor of choice is, and then save it as a PNG with no background and you know, then it'll look however you want. I already have mine made, so what I'm just gonna do is copy those over and so we get the cool little black ball. Okay, so I've changed both of those, so now they are the black version instead of the default beach ball. And now we're just gonna go back into Starbound and we're gonna load it up and test and see if everything works. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Okay, and then once you are in admin mode, you're just gonna hit enter, type slash spawn item oh forgot my s let's try that again cannot type today spawn item there we go and then space and then we're going to type in m o r b item because remember that's the name we give to the actual item that goes in our inventory and not the projectile i know it can be a little bit confusing but they're two two different very different things this is basically the gun that shoots the bullet so that's what we're spawning in so if we hit enter and if everything works, we should have gotten, oh, okay. So apparently I messed something up, which is actually kind of a good thing. We're missing the actual um, in-game icon. We have the item, that worked. Uh, this actually gives me a perfect chance to show you all the reload function. And I showed this in the last one, but I just wanna reiterate how handy it is, especially when you don't have a recipe, which we have not made for this and I am not going to make because I already showed you how to make recipes and it's the same thing. So check out the last video if you don't remember how to make a recipe in order to learn how to make a recipe for this. For now, we're just gonna use the spawn item command. So real quick, we're gonna go back to our mod folder. And I think right here is the issue, the inventory icon. I think it has to be this here. So we're just going to change that to say more item as well. And then we're going to save. And then we're going to go back to Starbound. Okay, now we are back in Starbound. So the first thing I want to do is delete this. Always delete your item before you hit reload. It's a very good practice to get in the to get into, so just make sure you do it. You can cause some chaotic things if you don't. So now we're going to type slash reload and then we're gonna wait patiently if everything was done correctly that will reload without any flaws if not your game will crash okay and now that we've done that you're just gonna hit enter and you're gonna hit up twice that's gonna bring back the spawn more by item command and we're gonna hit enter and there we go now you can see that it is working we have the item so let's uh, just hit P a couple times the letter P on your keyboard that's gonna let us spawn a couple of them and we're gonna go down here 
and we're gonna throw a couple well I'm gonna start off with one to make sure it works and then we'll throw a couple more for fun so let's go over here this looks like a decent area and there you go you can see that it is working just as it was intended to work and it's just mining along so now we can throw a bunch more and just mine all the things and like I said these are gonna last 10 seconds because that's what we set the time to live for and then you can pick each of them back up now once again remember the longer you set that time to live is is how long it takes before you can pick them back up unless they hit an NPC apparently and uh, they can get kind of crazy and they'll they'll mine for a really long time clear down till it hits lava and its time runs out before we wrap up this episode I want to go back to our mods folder real quick so we're back here in our uh, mod folder and I just want to open up our throw item and open that in your editor and I just want to go over a few things real quick so we're back here in notepad plus plus we have the thrown item and we have the uh, projectile type which is our morb now here's the thing you can change this to whatever you want if this was in a gun you could change the projectile to whatever projectile you want and then add in these configs to change that projectile the time here on the periodic actions is how often it performs that action so if you don't want the morb to mine like crazy or you want it to mine faster you can change this right now it's at 0.2 seconds so what you can do you could change this and put a 1 here and change this to a 0 and then it's only going to mine blocks every one second so if you had an item that was heavier for example the bowling ball you would have a lot more control because you could throw the bowling ball and it would land and hit hard because of the gravity it has and not bounce around and then every one second it would tick and it would mine the blocks that are around it in that case it, you could actually probably get away with changing these radiuses to something that's a good bit bigger now what allows this to happen uh, from the way I understand it uh, from my experimenting with this is the explosion action now you can change this action to a couple different things like you could change this for example to projectiles and every you know whatever you have the time limit here set for have it fire a projectile in a random area and all this other crazy stuff that's something for another you know tutorial but I just wanted you to know that it is possible to change this action to other things using the periodic actions it's a really handy function that you can use to do a lot of really neat stuff also like I said before you can change your explosive uh, damage amount and the harvest level changing these two are going to affect how well it mines blocks so if you were to change its harvest level to really low it's not going to mine nearly as many blocks or as nearly as fast as it would being at 10 or I mean you could crank it up as high as you can I'm not sure what the max is but I assure you there is a level and you can't pass it if I was to set this to 9999999 it would make a difference because if Starbound has a hard set level in a Lua somewhere then it's not going to go past that so you can feel free to experiment without having to worry about really breaking your game about the only way you're going to break it is if you screw up the code for example like removing that or something like that well that is going to wrap it up for this modding tutorial today if you have any questions or anything like that please leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them if you're having problems with it if something's not working go back check your code rewatch the video and make sure you have everything correct you just saw me do it it should work if you follow and do everything I did exactly how I did it now if you're playing around and you're trying new things and then you're having problems you know leave a leave a comment down below and I'll help you I'll do my best to help you figure them out so just get out there experiment have fun with it before I go I want to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters thank you so much for all of your support you all are amazing if you would like to help support this channel by becoming a Patreon, the link for that is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.